Welcome back, everybody, to a notary of the last song, episode one, right where we left a moment ago. And my goodness, hold on, the coffee. Mm. Perfect. The coffee is hot, and that means that I am ready to get going and to check out this brand new game. We looked at the menu just a moment ago, and now, would I like to skip the new tutorial? No, I think I need it. We're going to go into the tutorial and see in which our summer soldier can grab his, uh, what do you call it? Oh, I'm compiling shaders. Let me pause this while this happens. Summer soldier grabs his sword. All right, maybe the shaders are compiled. Oh, in the beginning, there was silence. Then came the first note. A primordial sound with no one to hear. Music birthed itself as a mirror of reality. And so, music created men to listen to itself. In turn, they invented arts to celebrate the mysteries of creation. They gave life to their own gods and legends. The gods as flawed as their creators fell victim to the darker impulses inherent in mankind. Humanity climbed atop a mountain made of fallen gods and declared itself the peak. A rebellious few discovered the power of the arts to shape reality according to their will. Pulchinel, the minstrel of change. Arquino, the king of the theater. Captain Spaventa, the son of Meridiana. Pantalon, the merchant of destinies. Alizone, the herald of knowledge. Columbina, the saint of the stage. The authors drafted the Canavasio, a script where the stage was the very world. It narrates the perfect world they envisioned. And thus, the Canavasio gripped the world and its creatures in eternal stagnation, tripping off behind a mask of its eternal light. <laughs> in a world of masks, only one without a role can choose their destiny and free this world from stagnation. I believe it was Voltaire. The tree of change bears fruit. Awaken, maskless one. The stage is set. Beautiful. I believe it was Voltaire who said, God created man in his own image. And man returned the favor. Anyhow, there is something to be said about that. I am clearly a little wooden boy. This is Pinocchio, The Lies of P, Part 2. Maybe? No. He is maskless. He has no role to play, and yet he was still tied up with strings. Oh, and there's another one, and another one, and, an, and another one, and another one. Anyhow. All right. We can swing our sword. It feels slow and weighty. It does feel slow and weighty. I hope that it does the damage that it feels like it should have. I'm not ready to lock onto an enemy yet with right click. But I see that is what it is. Now, right click also will recenter. Yep, it recenters the camera as it should. Uh, the left button. Ba, 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 ba. Welcome to the preacher plays. Okay, anyhow, we have our sword. This should have been laying on the ground for us to pick up. I'm just saying. Okay, and jump. Here's our A button, typical jump. Dodge roll B, oh, I like it. And I can see the stamina gauge moving, that's cool. All right, locking onto an enemy. Let's take the guy in the front. All right. Okay, we've got some stuff going on here. Kill one. Flawed Vessel of Change. Mm. 
RB and RT. Light attacks and heavy attacks. Alright, let's see if we can get a backstab. There doesn't appear to be a backstab. Alright, I do like the kill animation. I like the... I it might get old. Kill three. Lord Vessels of Change. Alright, dodge. Okay, now we're going to get into some dodging mechanics. You're missing an arm, dude. Oh, so there's a step. You don't roll when you're locked on. You only roll when you're not locked on. Oh, that is going to be interesting. Are you not going to? Oh, there is nothing chainable here. And he is... There's nothing chainable here. Not necessarily. Okay. Well, maybe light, heavy, heavy, light. Okay. Well, a well-timed parry left button can negate incoming damage. Okay, now we're going to take some damage, and we have a new type of weapon. So, not been a bop, bop. Okay. Okay. Do it again. Do it again so I can practice. All right. Good. Cool. I should have practiced that a little bit more. The maskless one can weaken the Canavaccio's grip on all manner of things. Fighting hostile beings with beings causes them to build their unraveling meter. When filled, they will be temporarily exposed to a finishing strike. Yep. Ardor, the unraveling. All right. Good. Man, that seems like a nice high jump. No double jump, though. Kind of wish there was. Oh, good. A great sward. All right. Do it. Do a thing. Your little wooden great sword. Ow. Fortunately, it's low attack. Do this. Come on. Okay, that was a failed parry. Come on. Order awakened. When the maskless one finishes off an unraveled enemy, they briefly enter the awakened state. While awakened, the maskless one gains a variety of positive effects that depend on the mask they're currently wearing. Okay, that's interesting. I don't want to attack you just yet. Come on, I want you to come back. I want to, I want to... You're going to stay there for a long time, aren't you? Okay. Nice finisher. I wanted to practice my parry. Oh, okay. Kind of cool. Are there any... Okay, we can climb on the trees. That's cool. Get the playbills up there. But are there any secrets? Are there any secrets? I want a secret. What happens if I run out in the water? Do I die? Let's we'll see. Oh, there's a death. Should we die now? Nah, we'll die in a little bit. Okay. Probably when one of these enemies actually starts doing real damage. That was not what I would call real damage there at all. Okay, nothing here? Oh, nope, there's a there's a fake there's a wall there. Okay. Can't can't go. Oh. Gosh, there's a wall here, too. Okay, never mind. I was kind of hoping that in this little introductory area, there'd be like a secret hidden gemstone that would give you the thingy-mabob. Movement. Jump. All right, cool. First run. We have a swad. All right, guy. Do me some damage. What are you doing? Okay, bad block. Let's try. There's another parry. Do it again. Come on. Okay, we got the... I should have practiced that parry some more. Dang it. I really want to practice that parry and not just play around with it. Ammonia Amber. Use the Ammonia Amber to restore health. Yeah, they've tied it to the Y button, which means I'm going to be accidentally healing all the time. And I won't have healing when I want it. 
Bad design choice. I'm sorry. Bad design choice. I'm pretty sure of it. That should be unraveled. Do I have to do it? I have to do it? I don't want to do it. Are you going to keep it locked until I do? All right, fine. Yep. Gosh. Not a fan of forced healing. Hey, we're open. All right, you know the movement feels very fluid. Is this the uh, is this the first actual boss? The force of change. All right, you're gonna do real damage then, aren't you? Okay. Okay. Mary, whoops. Right when he starts to attack. Okay, he's got recovery frames. Okay. Harry window seems a bit forgiving. Nice. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and heal, because I do need it now. Come on. When he starts to move. Whoop. Okay, there we go. And we'll do this again. Okay. Okay, let's heal. And come on, give me something to parry. Okay, final. I mean, I guess I could have jumped when he was getting ready to, uh, to stomp. Kill the force of change. Hold on just a moment. Okay, that was, uh, that was a visit from the grandbaby, and the grandbaby needed me to visit her. Reality knots, resting spots that restore health, and armonia amber charges. All right, so there's two. Oh, come on, I want to be able to stand in that. A is rest. All right. Open the loadouts menu to change your equipment. Uh, or the path of innovators, the cradle of change. All right, navigate to loadout two. Uh, right trigger, open your mask inventory. I'm assuming A. The Mask of Change allows you to deal more weapon damage through heavy attack. In addition, your physical power is increased while awakened. Become the Curtain Call. Um, why? What is why? Why is doing nothing? Um, neither is. Now, if you look underneath the right-hand side where it says Mask of Change Effect, there's two diamonds there. Which makes me think there is a second page worth of information in why we'll get you there. But no, apparently not. The Mask of Change allows you to deal. Now, equipped to loadout. Yep, still can't. Still can't adjust that with the Y button. I don't know what the Y button is for. Open your weapons inventory. Equip the great stage greatsword weapon. Um, okay. All I can do is I can't, I can't go up and down. I can't go left and right. I can't read anything. So all I can do is obey. Open your parry gems inventory? That's interesting. An unpolished gem and a hardened stone. Equip the hardened stone. A shining gem as refined by the purest steel, giving excellent physical melee damage negation. Even the mightiest blow crashes against the stubborn spirit. All right. 
Open your lines inventory. Equip the drunken sword line, which is apparently all I have. Summon an ardor sword imbued with the power of viz and perform a powerful heavy attack. Charging speed is presto. Oh my goodness. We shall sing till morning comes, or till our mugs are empty. Whichever comes first. Open your tools inventory. This is a bit, um... Too handholdy at this point. Especially because I cannot go between the cobblestone and the Song of Return. I can't read what the Song of Return is. It's obviously going to be a device that takes you back to the last knot, or whatever it's called. Can be tossed at enemies to deal minor damage and draw their attention. I recognize this. It's part of the wall of my house. Youngsters these days. Okay. Press back to return to the reality knot. Open the Path of Innovators menu to acquire perks through inspiration. Oh! Acquire the Gratia Path Perk. Upon casting the Mask Line equipped in slot 1, your weapon is briefly infused with Gratia. Okay. You're acquiring, because we have to. Dodging an attack causes the attacker to become slightly unraveled. Oh! Okay. That's interesting. Open the Loadouts menu to change your equipment. Why? Open your Mask Perks inventory. Equip the Gratia path. I wish I could read the Preparedness Trickster. That seems good. Open your Mask Perks. and I don't like this handheld. Equip the Preparedness perk. Okay, so I can do them both. And I didn't even read it. Dodging an attack causes the attacker to be slightly unraveled. Okay, that's the, the things I just unlocked. Okay. Equip the aspect of the soldier. Um, aspect of the rogue, aspect of the acolyte, enchanter, and the thug. All right, soldier it is. Press back to return to the reality knot. Press back again to exit the reality of knot. All right, piercing wits roll. All right. Mask loadouts. The maskless one has up to three loadouts at their disposal, in which all kinds of equipment can be set while at a resting spot. While exploring, only weapons, gems, and consumables can be changed. Changing the active loadout can be done at any moment. Double pressing the swap input allows you to quickly select the loadout that is currently farthest in the pick order. So the swap active loadout is down south. Oh, okay. So the Ardor Burst. That's cute. Uh, okay, so bop, bop. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Hold left trigger and press R B to use Arda Burst. Oh, that's what the other guy was doing. Okay. So let's go back to what I just finished. Alright. I guess I've done that. You can continue swinging up to a certain point. Huh. Okay. Let's uh, rest again, just because I can. <clears throat> oh, that's going to be a slow... Okay, loadouts, path of innovators, leveling up, and fast travel. Okay, let's take a look at fast travel. Okay, so it just takes you to where we've been. Uh, leveling up. We... Ah! Memoria cost is 394. See? Okay, okay. Oh, ooh. oh! this is interesting. Instead of leveling up individual items, you are leveling up the entire thing? That doesn't seem right. Hold on. Improves survivability by increasing your overall health, defense against physical attacks, and tolerance to all abnormal statuses. Improves the damage dealt with physical attacks while also increasing the chance of obtaining items while killing certain enemies. Ooh, I like that. 
improves the elemental damage dealt by weapons and lines while also increasing the defense against elemental. Increases stamina and pouch size, giving you the chance to carry more consumable items without resting at a reality knot. Battle Mage improves the damage and charge speed of lines, as well as ardor related abilities and equipment. All right, we are level one. Um, let's put one point into that. Uh, I like the increased weapon drops. And improves the... No... Uh, stamina is always a big deal. And I notice it says I've got 212 left down below. Oh, I like that. I like the fact, if you hadn't noticed, look look down at the bottom. Memoria cost, 394. If I right-click, it subtracts that, but then it also, at the very bottom, shows you the total left. Oh, that is... That's quite useful, as a matter of fact. Cool. Let's uh, go ahead and confirm that level up. Cool. I don't know what that means. All said and done. There we go. We've broken that. And we can bring the elevator back if we want to. Oh, that's kind of quick. I appreciate that. Is there anything? Nope, just a kill plane by the looks of it down there. Nice. Is there a, a limit to how many times I can do the ardor thing, or is that a cooldown? Mask lines are powerful ardor abilities. In order to use them, the maskless one needs to land attacks on their enemies, which gradually charges them up. Once it's gold, then uh, there you go. Oh, we have an enemy coming in. So how do I... Left trigger is going to do the thing. All right, let's come over here. Cobblestone. An ammonia sap. I do like that it's auto pickup. All I got to do is run over it. That's nice. All right, we're going to parry again. Come on. Parry. Okay, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. I'm supposed to be doing mask lines, though, aren't I? Try again. <laughs> this enemy has innate Fatuo defense. This makes them immune to Fatuo damage, but vulnerable to Gratia. Try infusing your weapons with Gratia and using Gratia lines to deal increased damage. You gotta keep hitting him then. So no parry practice here. I want to practice... Okay, he's got a lot of health, and that's good. Hey. Come on. Try it. Come on. Anyhow, hold left trigger and press Y or B. Okay, B, I don't have anything there. Gratia inflicts Radiant, causing one to recover health over time. Oh, nice! However, taking damage while afflicted triggers a powerful explosion. Not so nice! When an enemy is afflicted with Radiant, they, they recovers? They recover health over time. However, hitting them triggers a powerful explosion that can knock you backwards. Ending the status prematurely. Try to use ranged attacks to avoid getting pushed away. Defenses, physical defense and elemental defense. So there's the there's the signs, I guess. Mitigate different types of damage and have to be enhanced independently. Always take note of the weapon wielded by the enemy as it will reveal which type of elemental damage the enemy will inflict. Okay, I'm not sure I'm going to Oh, hello. Nice. Seem to have dealt him a uh, stunning defeat. All right. 
I don't mind the tutorial. Nice that I can break that, thank you. I don't mind the tutorial. It's actually the primal elements. The tutorial is actually not not terrible. It, it is awfully handholdy, but it does seem like there's a lot of complicated elements, so I can appreciate that. Anyhow, Viz inflicts dizzy. So Viz is like wine, Vith, uh, which increases damage dealt as well as stamina regen at the cost of lowered defenses. Kind of makes sense. You get you get a little drunk, uh, you might uh, become pugilistic. Oh, man, alcohol is a is a killer drug. It's horrible. While a lot of drugs affect only singular areas of the brain, alcohol affects almost the entire brain and rapidly uh, increases uh, your own uh, brutality. It's a very violent inducing drug and uh, man, should be it's super dangerous. Um, at the cost of lower defenses. Yep, yep. Um, so this is gonna be dizzy. I'm gonna be walking through wine. Oh yeah, I'm getting dizzier. When afflicted with dizzy, all the damage you deal is increased alongside your stamina regen. However, all your defenses are reduced. It takes great skill to take full advantage of this status. All right, I can live with that. But how long does it last? That's the question. Compendium contains all the discoveries made while you explore author's thoughts. Hmm. Well, we'll untangle the knot. Corda Resonante. Swap the weapon, the Juniper Sword. All right, so the Juniper Sword. Oh, that's a heavy great sword, two-handed great sword, right? Okay, let's do another, uh, we're gonna walk. Let it build up. Jump heavy, jump heavy. No, there's no jump heavy. Oh, there's a jump delayed heavy. Hold on, let's try that again. Uh, You can do a jump light, but you can't do a jump heavy. Okay. Didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Let's A, rest, and C, if my ardor goes away. I'm at halfway blue. Oh, it looks like it goes away. All right, so level up. It's 535, and I only have 222, so that's nice. Path of Innovators. Now, let me see. Okay, now we can now we can highlight this. Uh, this seems to be the Battle Mage path. This seems to be the Elementalist path. The Bruiser. Danza de Spada. Dealing damage with light attacks increases the damage of heavy attacks and vice versa. Suffering damage resets the effect. Okay. Suffering melee damage causes the attacker to sustain physical damage in return. Ooh. I kind of like that. Wait. Does that ricochet back on me? Or only if somebody else hits me? That's a little unclear. No, that's a lot unclear. Huh. Path of Preservation. Dealing damage with a weapon briefly increases your physical defense. The effect can stack. Upon dealing damage, your stamina regen is briefly increased. Your status power and the damage dealt by finishing attacks are increased. Dodging increases your physical status. Okay. Uh, weapon is briefly infused with Milano, whatever that is. Got to learn my Latin or Italian. I'm sorry. Uh, all right, I'm I'm inclined to go down this route. As a matter of fact, I it looks top right corner. I've got 15 units of whatever it is I've got, right? Um, so I'm inclined. So if somebody hurts me, they get hurt. I hope that doesn't mean that I get hurt if I hurt somebody. Dealing damage with light attacks. And that increases. All right. What happens if I branch off? Perfectly parrying an attack heals you by a portion of your maximum health. This effect improves when you're low on health. I'm, I'm inclined to make that a thing. Oh, that takes 20. <laughs> okay, I see the cost goes up. Ooh, by a fairly large amount. Okay, all right. 
Three on that. Let's go ahead and, and, and do the bruiser path a little bit. I like this. Dealing damage with a weapon briefly increases your physical power. This effect can stack. Come on. And I have three left. And now we are out of... Ooh. All right. Stamina regen when we deal damage or... Uh, status power and the damage dealt by finishing attacks are increased. Okay, so this is uh, a little extra power on the repost. Um, let's see here. Weapon gets viz. Increased elemental. Increases the duration. Uh, no, nah, that doesn't... Yeah, that doesn't quite thrill me. Let's, um... Do I want Stamina Regen? Finishing Attack gets a boost. I like that. Path of Trickery. Good. All right, I think we are in an interesting spot. That is faster for sure. Okay. Oh, should I um, check out? Oh, this is slow. I don't know that I like the slowness of it. All right. Um, physical damage 124. And physical damage 109. 26 ardor damage. on Unraveling is 223. 116. Wow, that does a lot more ardor damage. All right. So, ooh. I could also... Let's see, I've got the ju Juniper Longsword. Um, or the Ultra Greatsword. I wonder. Well, I want to see that one. I want to see the Ultra Greatsword go up. Man, if I focus on... That is slow. But if I focus on melee attacks, uh, let me see here. Loadouts. Oh, I can change. Oh, I can change my loadouts when I'm walking. Good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hmm. You know what? Let's 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 take a peek here. Let's just see. No. Okay. We're going this way then. Are we still doing? Are we still doing? Is this the direction? I came from that direction, and I have to go. This way. I don't know. How did I get turned around? I got turned. Right, let's go this way. This one's faster. Oh, does is there a stamina weight limit? Uh, I don't see a stamina weight limit. Do you? Put it down in the comments if you see a... a I see stamina, but I don't see a weight limit. Okay, so, um, Path of Innovations, L. Okay, so that takes me on the Path of Innovations. Uh, no, I don't, I don't. The Field of Beginnings, Quinta. All right, now, I do remember watching my friend Ulibifu Akhtasarp play this area just a little bit, so... That was very early on uh, during the initial playtest. Oh, the running light attack is interesting. Okay. All right. Do I want... Come on. Oh, hold on. Well, let's just see then what happens. Oh, that's got a long wind-up. And that does too. Okay, try it again. Wow. Okay. Hold on. Not good. Let's just go ahead and heal up. I'm trying to learn this. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, hold on. Stop it, you people. Your buddy needs to, like, back off. Oh, you don't like me healing, do you? All right, come on. Hey, got you out of the way, bonehead. Come here. Okay. Nice visceral. Okay. It'd be nice if I could heal during that. I'm going to go ahead and heal up. And now I want to see, should I go this way? It looks like it's locked. So maybe going this way doesn't matter at all. Yeah. Perfect. I like it. Come here. I want to block you if I can. Come on. Try again. Well, that was fast. That came out really fast. Okay. Never mind. Kill two towns persons. The epis that the fragment? I don't know what that said. Let's see. Uh where did okay, that was him disappearing. Uh inventory. Hmm, this is the tools. Harmonia sap. Allows the user to recover some health upon damaging an enemy for a brief duration. Oh, that's nice. A thick soup with invigorating flavor capable of clearing the dizzy. Okay, well that doesn't that doesn't bother me too much. Upon use, lose all accumulated memoria. All right, that's fine. Uh, right trigger. Okay, here we have the weaponry that we have selected. Why is that one purple? Hmm. Does that inflict dizzy? Is there a... Uh, I can't read. Uh, in, oh, here we go. An ancient longsword forged with materials that aren't native to this continent. Attack and ardor power. Bruza. Okay, so this, this scales with assassin trickster and battle mage. Okay. How about this one? This one? Hmm. An ancient theatrical prop now consumed by woodworms. Uh, oh. Go back. It Now it scales with attack power and ardor. Okay. And scales with attack and ardor, attack and ardor, attack and ardor, and attack and ardor. Okay, so these are all theatrical props. We're going to get much better weaponry as we go. Um, minimally absorbs all kinds of damage. Shining gem is reflected in the purest steel, giving excellent physical melee damage. Protection. Gem soaked in the tears of the dueling mages who tested its anti-magical melee. Okay. Drunken sword. Summons an ardor sword imbued with the power of his and perform a powerful heavy attack. Devate is the charging speed. Charges, summons an ethereal crossbow made of ardor and shoots a single bolt on a straight trajectory. That might be fun. Duelist Virtue. Step backward, then immediately follow up with an attack using the other equipped weapon. Or the same weapon of only one is equipped. Oh, Duelist Virtue might be fun. Especially with that great sword. Um, Mask of Change. Allows you to deal more weapon damage through heavy attacks. Increases the damage dealt by ranged mask lines. Okay, there's the aspects. And I've got a little bag on the first corner of both of those because I've upgraded them, I guess. Okay, the Ephistite Fragment. Used to upgrade weapons to a certain point. Okay, well, that's nice. We'll save that for a little bit. I have a feeling that they're going to be important. Let's just keep on going. I do want to check out some of the other... That's death. Right? Can I not pick that up? I cannot. See something shiny over there on the corner. All right, keep going. We are just getting... Oh, hello. Can I go up into the field? Hold on. I didn't even look. We're not, like, stuck. Down in the, uh, the, the dandel uh, dandelions. Okay, you can run with B. And it does affect your stamina when you're not in battle. Okay, guys, please, game designers, allow us... No, okay. Allow us to run without stamina breaking down while we're running if we are not currently in 
battle, right? Let's what let's see what happens when my stamina goes all the way down. I have slowed down. Alright, but I'm not standing there panting, waiting to die. So that's good. Alright. Alright. Ow! Somebody is shooting me with a dagger, or at least trying to. Stop it! Alright, I'm gonna have to go get this guy real quick. You can parry somebody? Alright, come on down, guys. You can parry somebody's arrow, and they take uh, stamina damage from it, huh? Dang it! Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna have to heal up the last heal. Don't really want to do that. All right. Okay, one more hit. I got the old fork. Come on, do it, do it, do it. Come on, do it. <laughs> Okay, the viscerals are good. I can proceed that way. That's pro in fact, I see a knot up there. But I also see some stuff up there. And I saw people shooting at me. I should have known. Miracle Pesto. All right, are you going to be... Kill two godness. And I got... I can't go in there. Okay. And I was just tapping Y in order to enter the door. And Y would have healed me if I'd had. So that's what I'm telling you. I'm going to waste healing items. Oh, I got to get on that roof over there. Rough. Got to get on the rough. Oh, he's going to get me. I can't... I can't get down. Okay, woodchopper guy. Oh, hello. A grape cutter. All right, we've got a we got a second to play with this. A grape cutter. It is a great sword. This is a great sword. 124 damage, and that is 105 damage. Um, can I? Why? A carved cutting tool? Curved. Popular around the unrivaled vineyards of Quinta. So sturdy were the tendrils of the grapevines that a common tool could not even hope to scratch them. Um, okay. Well, that's nice. I'm not gonna use it. Alright, I am probably gonna die to this fellow because I don't have any healing to speak of. Shard of miserable memory. Is he gonna attack yet? No. Shard of Miserable Memory. The faint shard of a far-off grants memoria on use. I don't know what memoria is. The Old Fork. Small pointy kitchen tool that rather than hurting can be tossed to draw attention. Well, that's fun. Alright, now. Oh, he's, he's going to be special, isn't he? This enemy has an 8-viz defense that makes them immune to viz damage but vulnerable to fatuo, which I don't have. Try infusing your weapons with fatuo and using fatuo lines to deal increased damage. Well, Hey! Okay, go ahead. 
Okay, Morte, he killed me. <laughs> well, no big deal. Uh, do I need to rest? Probably not. So that means everybody has revived, right? So we're going to have to go through that gauntlet one more time. We can do that. No, no biggie. No biggie. Oh, okay. So, oh, I did not mean to you. I didn't mean to use the soup. I meant to go left and right, and I hit the down button. Doggone it. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why? Why am I wearing this wrong outfit? Um... Hold on. How do I switch? I don't want to be wearing this outfit. This is not what I want. Um, shoot. Loadouts. Uh, back. Can I not? I don't want to mess with that. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wee woo. Do I have to, um, do I have to rest in order to restore whatever it is that I'm doing? I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I want my regular mask back. I was learning that play style. Okay, loadouts. I want the mask of change. And that's not the equipment that I want. Wait. Uh, wait, wait. How, how do I... It's not... It's not the Y button. Oh, gosh. Hold on. All right. Already forgot. It's down on the D-pad. So, yeah. That's fun. Uh, do I have a third mask? I don't think I have a third mask. Let's go ahead and look real quick. That's why I say there's so many uh, different components of this. Um... No, I don't have a third mask, so. This is who I wanted to be, though. All right, let's go get it. I have ardor going around my arm or something like that. Okay, cool. We are going to try and... Oh, my health is down just a touch. That's interesting. Um... Do I have I have cobblestone right here? Let's do this. Just Wow, that did a huge amount of damage. Uh okay. Okay, pop and Bop. Got them both just by way of accident, and I don't know what I just picked up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Did I pick up? I didn't pick up a mask. Oh, gardener mask shard. Mask fragments that once belonged to the role of the gardener can be used to recreate it if enough are gathered. <sighs> How many do I need? So cool. I do have to kill some gardeners. There was one up here, wasn't there? Or was this a gardener? This wasn't a gardener, was it? It's a gardener. <laughs> okay. So the running strong attack is nice. It's a little jump and lots of oomph. Cool. I like it. All right. There is a knot on the other side of that fence, so I can see it in there. Nothing but death there. Hey. Awfully tempting. Okay. You gonna give me a mask? Long death animation. Oh! Look at the notes. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Kill two sharp retorts. 
Formidable performers of many towns. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hear somebody coming. Hello. All right. Okay, we got you. I guess now we're going to make our way upstairs. At least we will try to. So do I just grab that automatically? I do grab that. Okay. All right, let's take the... Um Okay, hold on. And a couple of heavy hits there. Ha! Ah! I do like that. Nice. Okay, let's heal. And Come on, try again. Come on. There we go. I should heal after this, just in case. Okay. Good. I do like the heavy attacks. Come on. Never mind. All right, let's try him again. Oh. What did I just... What did I just... Oh. There we go. That's what I just tapped. All right. We're going to run. Okay. We're going to back up. Two. There's two. Let's see if we can't get a... There's three. I don't know how many it's going to take to break his stamina. Oh, did he block that? Is he stuck in a loop? Okay. He's kind of stuck in a loop. Oh. I'm kind of stuck in a loop. Hold on. All right, my little woodcutter, we're going to try and do this one more time. Okay, we're going to try and do this a couple times because I want... I want to be able to... I want to parry him. Oh, parry didn't happen. Let's heal. Okay. Oh. Come on, let's parry. Come on. We better heal. In fact, I better heal twice. Nope, 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 that didn't work. Okay. Let's go ahead and run around. And try. That's a good hit. Bop and boppity bop. Okay. Okay, we are on the bridge. Good. And down. Oh. 
that should do some damage. That did damage. <laughs> no healing left. There we go. The Epstite fragment in a couple of shards, and it all went away before I could look at it. Hmm. Ooh, the Lumberjack Mask Shard. Two, 20 out of 200. I have got 26 out of 100 of these, and I now have two, no, four of those. Oh, I can upgrade some weapons. Okay. Uh, tools. What else did I get? I wanted to show you whilst I was running back. I picked up a couple of weapons. I picked up the consumed pitchfork, which uh, barely kept together. Good for pitching hay as well as gouging eyes. And the sizzling torch, which is a morning star. Uh, may fail where it may fail as a weapon fire more than makes up for it. So it does some elemental power descaling. So there you go. I'm not going to use it just now. Let's go ahead and investigate the area that my good man was in. And at least now... I got 3,000 whatever are they called souls here. I don't know. Nothing... Oh, hello. Crabs is. Okay. I definitely want to check that out. Unraveled Epicite Fragment. Uh, is that, like, mysterious fragments of Epicite, Epistite used to upgrade special weapons to a certain point? Okay. All right. Now, there is a knot up there. I'm not going to rest at it, but I do want to activate it. So let's go do that. Then we're going to go look at the... I've got just four minutes left. Not much. Not much time. Not much time. But I do have four minutes left, and then we'll go look at the crabs is down there. Oh. Shores of Quinta. Or Quinta, as the case may be. All right, let's go ahead and untangle the knot. A. See some people standing up over there. Up. Corda Rizanate. Okay, let's go back up top. In fact, I'll meet you at the top of that hill because we're almost out of time. All right, we're at the top of the hill. We're going to look around real quick. I've got the pot. Let's look over the edges and see. It doesn't appear, other than what was on that roof, doesn't appear to be any other gotchas over here or gitches what does that little dot above the knot on the right hand top of the screen mean this is going to take me down here there is a there is a drop all right what do we got here unraveled spices it looks like a increases ardor power for our ardor power for a short duration upon use. The art of singing while cooking has yielded interesting results over time. All right. There's a couple of crabs that I'm going to die to. As well as... Um, let's go this. I don't have any more heals. I doubt the crab... Oh, they're going to do something to me as well. Uh, let's see here. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. All right. Also not bad. Let's go ahead and switch out to the other sword. Good. Once again, we have a shred of Cambonatio. We will have to look at that in just a second. Because I don't want to risk. Ow. Ooh, that could have been bad to die to a crap. All right. We'll just put that crab out of his misery. Or out of my misery, as the case may be. And a hymn of vigor. Okay, let's take a look at what those are. A hymn of vigor. A frail whistle that somehow still produces sound. Greatly boosts stamina regen. Okay, and miracle pesto. Clear status effects. Old forks for throwing. I don't know what Grant's Memoria on use is. 
Um, I don't think there's any new weapons. Golden dart. Piercing wit. Huh. We're getting we're getting shards. Bread of the Canavatio. A tattered paper fragments that were originally part of the Cavanatio can be used to strengthen mask lines. Okay. Well, that's not bad. We've got some introductory items here. We're going to fall off into the abyss if we go that way, right? Is there anything around the corner, though? Nothing nothing around the corners but death. Okay. Hmm. What do we got going on here? We have a very bad dog in the background. I'm sorry if uh, my daughter's dog sets your dogs off. You can hear him. If you can't hear him, then I'm not sorry at all. <laughs> I am sorry. Okay, can't go that way. I don't want to get locked or dropped in the water because we're almost... We're definitely out of time. Okay, let's run over. We've, we've seen what we came here to see. Right? At the side of the sea. And somewhere beyond the sea, somewhere waiting for me is the next stage of an Altria. Can I break anything here with stuff in it? Does not appear to be stuff in it. Okay. Well, we're going to take a rest. I'm going to say thank you for joining me. I am the Preacher, and I will see you on an Altria the next time. See you there.